All right, so because I'm a firm believer that we shouldn't gatekeep knowledge, knowledge shouldn't be gatekeeped, and I'm not a fan of charging folks to to drop gems of, of things that people have dropped to me, uh, we gonna get into this. So welcome to the Get This Work book, unofficial guide to breaking into tech sales tutorial. Everything that I'm gonna be talking about and covering, you can, if you wanna go check out the book, it's, it's, uh, it's available for the public. Uh, but at any rate, the whole goal of this is to be able to teach individuals how to break into tech sales. And so we're going to get into it. The book consists of 28 different chapters. We're going to start in chapter one. So chapter one of the book is all about getting your mind right, having the right mindset. I mean, I think that's necessary for anybody that's making a switch into any career or doing something new that half the battle is really just getting your mindset in the right place to be able to be successful. So three fundamental rules. We're talking about breaking the tech sales at Rework. You're talking about breaking the tech sales with the Get This Work community. Three fundamental rules when we're talking about mindset and getting your mind right. The first one, checking your ego and not your confidence. So I feel like over the last five years, I worked with a, a lot of different types of people. The ones that I will say that I've had the largest challenge when it comes to transition in, into tech sales are ones with big egos that feel extremely entitled. So they come in and they're like, man, I got all this previous experience. I know a lot a lot a lot and they often hit me up like man they tell me that i should do things a certain way and it's crazy because those same people end up not getting a job i see a lot of people that go through other tech sales boot camps i see people that go through other programs and end up without a job and i'll tell you that probably the biggest thing that gets in their way is their ego and so checking their ego checking your ego at the door despite the fact that you may have other experience that's great but clearly you still out here looking for a job in tech sales. And so check the ego, but when I mean check the ego, not the confidence. So a hundred percent, like if you have been in any other industry from being a stay at home mom, all the way up to owning your own business, that experience is a hundred percent transferable. And so on the flip side of things, I work with a lot of people that feel like, man, they're in over their head because all the lingo, the technology, the acronyms that tech sales oftentimes uh, has. So I want you to keep that same confidence. So if you are a stay at home mom, pretty sure you're confident about being a stay at home mom or dad. If you're a stay at home dad, you have a level of confidence that being at home, taking care of the kids. If you are working in retail, a grocery store, you have a level of confidence at your current job. And so throughout this journey, I want you to keep that, that confidence of like, man, you can do this. In fact, I believe anybody can do this. And so being confident in your ability, your know-how that you will figure this out because you've done it in the past, I want you to keep that same level of confidence, but leave the entitlement, leave the ego, leave that at home. And I don't, it's, it's, it's gonna be harder to get this job, to get this work if you, if you let your ego get in the way, first thing. Second thing, so we're talking about breaking into tech sales. So uh, I feel like a lot of people use this, they say this kind of vernacularly of like, I'm gonna help you break into tech sales. But you know, I'm from South side of Chicago, 103rd in Michigan. And so when I mean break in, I, I, I take that quite literal. So I'm not talking about going into the front door. I'm talking about going through the back door, the side window, getting a ladder, helicopter down from the roof. And so a lot of the methods that I'm going to talk about are really, you know, they're not orthodox they're not the traditional way. I'm not going to encourage anybody to focus on their resume and focus on sending out a whole bunch of applications because that is the traditional way that is to get in line at the front door, ring the doorbell, hit the, you know, wait for the recruiter to reach out to you. And that is not breaking in. In fact, you know, it's a long line. So, if you want to go the traditional way, <clears throat> I am not for you. A lot of the things, again, that we're going to discuss, I'm a firm believer in that it's not what you know, it's who you know, but knowing something is important. You got to know who you need to know. And so uh, a lot of the, the concepts that I teach are kind of revolve around more about people and understanding people and getting to know people and then putting a process on how we get to know people. The reality is, is that, you know, should we focus on sales? Uh, 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 probably a small percentage, maybe like 25% throughout the, the rework training program. But at the end of the day, wherever you end up, they're going to have a sales process. You're going to go through sales training, sales onboarding, product training anyway. And so I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time focusing on how to sell. I am going to talk about it a little bit, 
But majority of my time is going to be spent on actually how to get your foot in the door, how to be successful at interviews, how to get interviews, how to finesse your way with the recruiters, around recruiters, how to talk to hiring managers and really how to close the deal of you getting your foot in the door, the back door, the back window in the tech sales industry. Third thing, third key working with me. So uh, I'm a firm believer of slingshotting your career. Uh, if you've ever seen like how a slingshot works for those of you all who may not know what a slingshot is, is basically the concept is like, you got this thing with a rubber band or whatever it is and you like, you pull back to go forward. Like the only way the object is propelled for is that you gotta pull it back. And so when it comes to tech sales and really propelling your career, uh, I'm pretty sure you've heard stories of people that make six figures, seven figures in the tech sales industry. They didn't start making seven figures. Like it didn't happen just instantaneously. Although some people tell that story and I may be wrong. Like some people may make seven figures. But last time I checked the census reports, you know, it's not that many people that's out here making seven, seven figures like that. At least they're not reporting it. Um, and majority of them ain't black, right? Like six figures, seven figures. Like, again, look at the census report. And again, like, you know, not to say that people ain't doing it. I'm just saying the large majority, they aren't doing it. And so going into tech sales, sometimes taking a step back to take a step forward. One thing I can say that is different from other industries that aren't tech or SaaS related is that this idea of spending, you know, five, 10 years at a place before you're able to get promoted, before you're able to get more money. I get the concept of like, nobody wants to take a pay cut. Nobody wants to go back as from a position standpoint, from, from a title standpoint, but if, you, if you're gonna have to take a step back, if you're gonna take a demotion and pay, demotion and title, tech sales is the 100% 100, 100 the place to do it. Uh, the reason I say it is because people in tech sales, it's all about performance, right? And so like the better you perform, the quicker you will get promoted, the quicker you will get noticed in the industry. And before you know it, you have recruiters knocking at your door in as little as six months, asking you to come to their company to make 10, 20, $30,000 more in a, in a position where you sometimes be doing the exact same thing that you were doing before. And so it can happen quickly. And so, you know, don't think of this as like, hey man, if you're taking a pay cut, I understand, but think of this as, you know, career long-term, think of this as, you know, you're doing something that's gonna be tough in the short term, that's gonna pay off in the long term. And so uh, those are the three rules. Check your ego at the door. We're breaking in to tech sales, not going through the front door. So a lot of non-traditional stuff. And then don't forget the career slingshot. Sometimes we gotta take a step back, to take a step forward. All right, so here's the bonus gem. I want you to go to LinkedIn. I want you to find a guy named John Barrows. John Barrow. So I got the opportunity to work with John when I uh, worked at uh, Sprout Social. And I mean, he's a phenomenal salesperson. He runs his own company. He teaches organization. He does, uh, for lack of better uh, terms, he does sales enablement for organizations. So he teaches salespeople at organizations for a living. That's his full-time job. He runs his own business. So John's bonus nugget when it comes to getting your mind right on getting into this industry tech sales, is that you gotta remember that sales is all about solving problems. Sales is about helping people solve problems and achieve goals. Remember that. How can I help a person solve a problem and achieve a goal? It's not about convincing, it's not about trying to persuade somebody just to buy a product that's not gonna help them. If you're going in sales just to do that, like you're probably in it for the wrong reason. In fact, I'm reverberating what John said in the book. Ultimately, sales is about helping people solve problems or achieving goals. You need to believe that what you're selling can really make a positive impact for the right type of customer. If you don't believe in what you're selling and you're just trying to get a commission check, then you're the type of sales rep who gives the rest of us a bad name. 
That's a John Barrow's blurb straight out of the Get This Workbook. Boom, just like that. We're on the chapter two, but we're gonna be talking about what is biz dev. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell to make sure you're up to date on all the new content that we release. Drop a comment, tell me what you thought. And if you haven't already, make sure you check out reworktraining.org where we're on a mission to help 25,000 black, brown, people of color to get jobs and the tech sales over the next 25 years, cumulatively make $30 billion. You ready to get this work?